Hello, I'm Dean Karstens, and this is Dean's N-Scale Trains. Today I'm going to talk about a power supply, a simple and inexpensive power supply that I built to power my N-Scale Atlas switches on my uh, Scenic Ridge Railroad under construction. Finding a power supply is, is somewhat difficult. If you have an old DC supply, they usually had an outlet to power accessories that work to drive the switches. The modern DCC systems don't have such, a power, such an auxiliary power supply. So I started playing around with this sort of power, plug-in power supply. This is commonly called a wall wart in the US. The Atlas switches have a resistance of four ohms, so at 12 volts they pull three amps. That's a lot of power. And these small wall wart power supplies either don't supply that much current or they will kick out. They will have a protection that, uh, since it looks like a short, they will kick out. So here's my mock-up to show you the operation of the twin coil switch machine. Here you see the two coils. They're wired to a Atlas control switch powered by a transformer that's putting out a little over 18 volts. So let me show you what happens. That actuator plunger goes back and forth and in, in the actual switch, it um, will activate the switch in both directions. Now let me show you what happens when I hold it down voltage drops to about 10 volts and there it goes you can see the switch moving because I've uh, fastened this with um, hot glue and the hot glue is actually melting Ooh. The power supply just kicked out as an internal circuit board, circuit breaker, but it's hot enough to melt the glue. And as you can probably see, it smoked a little bit. So here's my power supply. It uses a small, low current, 12 volt wall wart that came from an old phone of mine. If you're like me, you probably have a lot of these around. You can use anything that supplies something on the order of 12 to 18 volts. In addition, I built this really simple circuit board. I put it on this uh, prototyping board. It has a capacitor and a resistor. So here you see driving two switches. As you can see, they're both operated with the same button. So this power supply has enough oomph to drive both at once. Here's a schematic of the power supply. The two parts fit in the circuit board represented by the dash square. You can add any number of control switches in parallel. When you apply power to the capacitor, it charges up over a couple of seconds. As you can see in the blue line, the current goes to zero, and the, this particular wall wart actually turns out 18 volts at zero current. The red line shows the current going into the capacitor when power is applied. Now when a control button is pushed, the capacitor pushes a large amount of current through the coil on the switch, activating it in that direction. This shows the direction of the current from the capacitor into the coil. This calculation shows that on operation, the switch motor only gets about 0.4 volts and a very low wattage, thus protecting it. So that's the end of this video. 
If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Also, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, N-Scale Trains by Dean. Thank you.